My heart's breaking. If you could hear the sound of a heartbreak, that's what you would be listening to right now. Only on Fox 4, a father shares his pain. His 18-year-old daughter is hit by an SUV, and she is tonight fighting for her life. Jessica Bunch was all set to report to boot camp. She was going to become a Marine, but everything changed when an elderly driver crushed her as Jessica was trying to rent a movie. And the police call this an accident, and that driver will not be charged. Jessica's father sat down. He spoke with Fox 4's Zahid Arab, who joins us now from our Dallas newsroom. Zahid. Well, Heather, doctors gave 18-year-old Jessica Bunch a 10% chance to survive. And after three surgeries, that's, that's now up to 70%. But her family says she will never be whole again now that her days as a Marine are over. Beyond words, beyond comprehension, a dream shattered. I love her more than I love life. If I could take a place... I would do it in a heartbeat. Around noon that day, his 18-year-old daughter Jessica stopped this Canton CVS to get a prescription. She then decided to get a movie. Family says she was at a red box machine out front no longer than a minute when out of nowhere, store surveillance shows an SUV appear and within seconds, jump the curb and crash into Jessica, pinning her against the red box machine. When you look at it, the brakes were never applied and she was mowed down. The video shows customers nearby react, running to help the 18-year-old who was airlifted to a Tyler hospital with punctured lungs, broken ribs, a fractured pelvis, and internal bleeding. And for Jessica's father, a broken heart. And when I watched it, I had no idea that there was not going to be a way to turn it off in my mind, or I would have never watched it. It plays over and over and over. Jessica was training for Marine boot camp in September. Something doctors believed saved her. The doctor told me that if she hadn't been in that good of a shape, she wouldn't be here today. As for the 79-year-old driver of the SUV, Kenton police say she stepped on the gas instead of the brake, ruling the crash an accident. Don Bench says police told him if Jessica was killed, the 79-year-old would have been charged with vehicular manslaughter. If you kill someone, then you can be held reliable, but you can mangle them up as bad as you would like and no charges be filed. I don't understand that part. For Jessica, the dream of serving as a Marine is now overshadowed by the hope to leave her hospital bed. I can't really des describe that, but I'm just gonna say it, it. My daughter will never be the same. I don't think I will either. Now, Jessica has another surgery scheduled for Monday. While she is showing some improvement, doctors think she'll be in the ICU for at least a month. With medical bills amounting to $400,000 so far, friends have set up a fund to help the family. That information is on our website, fox4news.com. Heather? And to hit Jessica's family, I mean, they're going through so much right now, so I think it's really amazing that her dad has the strength to share this story with us. Yeah, you're right. The Bunch family says they're hurting right now, but they want to talk about what happened because they don't want any other family to feel this type of pain. Now, once Jessica gets better, her father tells me he'll push state leaders to make it safer for people to be around these sidewalk vending machines. He wants stores to place barriers between parking lots and high pedestrian areas so that if this situation happens again, there'll be a better chance of less injury. Now, outside the Canton CVS, there's already a new red box machine. The Bunch family fears this could easily happen again. Heather. All right, Zahid, appreciate your coverage. Thank you.